everybody. Hi. Good morning. I think today is a great day for dress up, for playing, and for thinking about all the things that you wish you could be when you grow up. Or just when you get a little bit bigger. What's something that you really want to learn how to do? I love dressing up as a unicorn, but I also love taking care of animals. Maybe today I'll play vet and I'll take care of sick animals. You could do that at your house too. But the story I have for you is about a little mouse who has a big dream. She really wants to be a dancer and not just any kind of dancer, a ballerina dancer. You might know her, she's pretty famous. Her name is Angelina Ballerina. Take a seat and join me. This is a pretty fun story, especially if you love being a ballerina too. Ooh, there we go. More than anything in the world, Angelina loved to dance. She danced all the time and she danced everywhere and she often was so busy dancing that she forgot about the other things she was supposed to be doing. Silly. Angelina's mother was always calling her, Angelina, it's time to straighten up your room or time to get ready for school now, Angelina. But Angelina never wanted to go to school. She just wanted to dance. She didn't want to do anything. Wow, and her room is pretty messy. She needs to clean it up. One night, Angelina even danced in her dreams. And when she woke up in the morning, she knew that she was going to be a real ballerina one day. When Mrs. Mouseling called Angelina for breakfast, Angelina was standing on her bed doing her curtsies. She's practicing bowing like she was in a show. When it was time for school, Angelina was trying on her mother's hats and making sad and funny faces at herself in the mirror. <laughs> You're going to be late again, Angelina, cried Mrs. Mouseling, her mom. But Angelina did not care. She skipped over rocks and she practiced high leaps over the flower beds until she landed right in old Mrs. Hodgepodge Pansies and got a terrible scolding. She says, get out of here, you stepped on my flowers. Oh, at playtime, she twirled and spun across the playground so fast that none of the little boys in her class could catch up to her. And they were all very cross. They were all very mad that no one could catch her. She was too fast. And after school, she did a beautiful arabesque in the kitchen and knocked over ah, a pitcher of milk and a plate of her mother's best cheddar cheese pies. Crash! Oh no. Oh, Angelina, your dancing is nothing but a nuisance, exclaimed her mother. Oh, I think her mom is mad because she knocked that stuff over. She sent Angelina straight upstairs to her room and went to have a talk with Mr. Mouseling, her dad. Mrs. Mouseling shook her head and said, I just don't know what to do about Angelina. Mr. Mouseling thought a while and then he said, I think I might have an idea. That same afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mouseling went out together before all the shops closed. The next morning at breakfast, Angelina found a large box with her name on it. Oh, look, she has a present. Inside the box was a pink ballet dress and a pair of pink ballet slippers. Angelina's father smiled at her kindly. I think you are ready to take ballet lessons, he said. Angelina was so excited that she jumped straight up in the air and she landed with one foot in her mother's sewing basket. <makes noise> Silly Angelina. The very next day, Angelina took her pink slippers and ballet dress and went to her first lesson at Miss Lily's ballet school. There were nine other little girls in the class and they all practiced curtsies and plies and ran around the room together just like fairies. 
Then they skipped and they twirled about until it was time to go home. Congratulations, Angelina, said Miss Lily. You are a good little dancer, and if you work hard, you may grow up to be a real ballerina one day. <gasps> wow, that's pretty special. That's what she really wants. Angelina ran all the way home to give her mother a big hug. I am the happiest little girl in the world today, she said. And from that day on, Angelina came downstairs when her mother called. She straightened up her room and she went to school on time. She helped her mother make cheddar cheese pies and she even let the boys chase her in the playground sometimes. Angelina was so busy dancing at Miss Lily's that she didn't need to dance at supper time or at bedtime or any other way to school anymore. She went every day to her ballet lessons and she worked very hard for many years. That's a long time. Until at last she became a famous ballerina, Mademoiselle Angelina, and people came from far and wide to enjoy her lovely dancing. Wow. And that is the end. That's the story of a little mouse who had a big dream and she loved it so much that she practiced, practiced, practiced. And then she made her dreams come true. This is such a great story about having big dreams. Angelina had to work very hard to become a ballerina, but it all started with a little dream about something that she loved. And this is the perfect time for you to think of all the things that you love to do. And you can dream as big as you'd like. You have so much time right now to play all the games in the world and to learn about all the different things that you could be. So that's what I want you to do today. I want you to use your imagination and think about what it is that you would love to do. Just like I would love to help take care of animals. But make sure you have fun and play with it. Just like I'm pretending to be a unicorn. So until next time, go have some fun. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.